What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, to the ladies out there, I know that y'all like getting y'all busted lace fronts done. I know some of y'all out there like maintaining y'all six inch fingernails. But here's the thing you don't need to steal from your employer to try to keep up with the Joneses and make yourself seem as if you had money. But you know what? Guys, let's get right into the damn video. And my boss's name is Jennifer. X954. I'm sorry, I'll Excuse me, Kirby, just stand up for me. Put your hands on your back. Will you got any weapons on you? Will you please go back there? Um, like up front? I mean, we will try to avoid what No, no, we have to come back for our safe. I don't want to be chasing them. I mean, is there, a, is there a back? There's a back. Okay. For y'all that didn't hear that, she asked if they can go out a different way because she didn't want to walk she didn't want to walk past the employee break room. She stolen fifteen thousand dollars and now she doesn't want to walk by the employee break room because she doesn't want to feel embarrassed. Usually, guys, women don't want to feel embarrassed that do type of things like this because they already want to make it seem like to their fellow employees that they had money already that they were already balling when it, when in all actuality it's going to come out that she stole 15 bands from her employer which her employer is Walmart let's get back into it you want to put your car on back? yeah hold on Hey, how's it going, bro? Um, so, do you guys have um, everything, all the information? Do you have the receipts? I have all the information. Was, well, it wasn't receipts, really. It was cash. Oh, it was right? cash. Yeah. Okay. So, um, did he mention something about an affidavit? Okay, I'll go ahead and grab the affidavit. Okay. Because right you guys just, because I don't I know anything about the case. I have 13 different stores, so I, gotcha. you guys are the first ones that have asked for that from Pompano. So, gotcha. if, you, if it's something that you guys always require, I can have them save it. And okay. Perfect. We'll do that going forward. How much? How much cash is it? Um, around seven thousand. So I have five thousand of it documented, but she okay. admitted to the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and document that to them, okay. and I can send that to you guys. Gotcha, gotcha. But she has a cash here somewhere. She said it's at she the smoke shop. She has shot. it somewhere. Yeah, in the smoke shop. So we're gonna she go what? It, she smoke took shop. fifteen hundred today. So it's. She said it's by the smoke shop. So I don't know if it's by the smoke shop over there. Well, why don't we ask her before we do? Yeah. Yeah. So during the day, while she was at work, she was able to come off with at least $1,500 just in that amount of time that she was at work until they came and got her. I don't understand what would make her even that bold enough to try to steal out of a cashier at Walmart. You got to remember, guys, I'm pretty sure all around in every state, they only have like three cashiers working. Tops. The rest of all the machines you're going to are automated machines or a self-checkout. What would make you even think that you would even be able to get away with something like that? It's which is what I don't understand. You think you're going to be able to steal $1,500 to $3,000 day in and day out and not get caught? In a little background, people, she's only been working at that Walmart for two months. She was able to steal 15 bands. Let's get back in here. Um, Watson sent out. Do you want me to help with this? Or no, I got it. Okay. Parking it's easy. Park. I'll, I'll show you everything they did. Everything's yeah, easy. Yeah, okay, perfect. Easy PC. And, Sounds good. Uh, so I'll just grab her. Know, and she'll walk. It's in the parking lot. It it's in park another park. store. Yeah, the smoke shop's at oh, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, or something like that. She stashed it there. I don't uh, know. Let's just. She has to know somebody there. That would be my guess. So question is, uh, hey, is Siya going to do the PC the or is Siya going to do the PC no. or? Uh, just to have her tell. You guys can't open it? No, we are. No. We're asking you. What money came from the store? Just the hundred. Just the hundred is not the time inside no. here. How, how much is there?
anybody could count fast enough. How much did she? How much did she have just there that she had took just from the day? Because what she was doing was taking any large bills that the customers were giving to her, and she was stashing them in her pocket immediately while she was working. I don't know how much they just counted there off the rip because I'm just now viewing this like fully. But how much do you think she had there alone? That looks like more than $1,500 that she just stole for the day. She's very bold. Very bold. 40 times 100. How much? 40 times 100. 4,000. 4,000. 4, she stole four bands during her shift just there in that one day. Which I don't know if she was there for four hours or six hours or seven hours because they must have came and got her. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. Go do something productive. A lot of ladies, guys, are getting caught like that because they want to try to maintain this image. They want to maintain this lifestyle that they really aren't living. On top of this, found inside the blood. Oh, these two, are these theirs too? Mm -hmm. On top of this? No, that's um, that unless she just took it. Unless she took it. Because it's higher charge. Between yeah. 5 and 10. It's, um, it's 7,000 total that I found, but she might have taken more. Because when we did the audit, it was only 1,500. Well, so she must have taken more. We'll ask her. My mom lost her budget. Ma'am, is your ID in your wallet? No ID. You don't have an ID? No. Yeah, right, ma'am, what's your first name? Hey, Common spelling, S-A-H. What's your last name? Hotel, hotel, hotel. Sorry, say that again. How do you spell that? B-Y-S-S. B-I. All right, just hang tight, okay. When do, when do I go down to the station? We're going to go to the station in probably five minutes. The woman was taken safely to the police station and charged with a major felony. Grand theft of more than $10,000. We've added an extra clip. Wait until you hear the reason why she was stealing from her job. We'll call this chapter Confessions of a Not-So-Smart Thief. We are always going to be connected. And you'll always... My stuff's still going to be in there, right? Yeah, all your stuff's out there right now. I'm writing all the paperwork for you. Yeah, he's coming in right now. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm just cool. Yeah. Are you sick? First rule to anybody out there, let me tell you something. Whether you stole or not, just a word of advice to anybody out there that wants to commit crimes. Don't talk to the police and give them any information. Hire a lawyer and let them work for you. If you can't retain an attorney, an attorney will be given to you, okay? That's just my word of advice for today. You don't have to talk to the cops. Wait until you can talk to an attorney. Don't give them any information, even if you were caught on camera. Let an, Hire an attorney and let the attorney do the work for you, okay? That's just my piece of advice for today because a lot of people don't know that. Okay, you just prefer to have... Yeah, oh. um, when I was at work, I just don't like to... Have it all because I work. Oh, a lot of old people come in and I don't play that. Oh, yeah. So I want to talk to you about everything that happened today. How long have you been working at Walmart? Two months. Two months? Mm -hmm. So that right before your birthday or? Right after. Right after? Yeah, it's probably a month then. Okay. Where'd you work before that? Four months. Which one? So they have a, not that one, the one. Right by the gas station. Is that all the way up north? No, it's not too far from the Publix, you know, Publix, Hillsborough Square. Oh, all the way up there. Mm -hmm. What happened over there? Why'd you leave? Isn't that one closer to your house? It is, but I left because I left my parents' house. I wasn't living down in Pompano anymore. Where are you living now? I was living in Florida. Florida? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Miami. And Miami? He, 
It was just like on your own. Or Damn, she balling. She living in Fort Lauderdale and Miami. I can see why she's living the way she's living. By the way, people, Miami is one of the most expensive places to live in the U.S., if y'all don't know that. It's one of the most expensive places to live right now. She probably, I, hey, I can possibly see why she did what she was doing for money. You know, down in Miami, down in that Florida area, a lot of the women like to keep up with a certain image. Got to get the BBLs, get the tummy tucks, keep their hair dead, nails. Got to keep up with that image. Drive the nice cars. Or with your friends? With friends. Okay. It seems like you're disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? How long did you know? Who? Your boyfriend. Oh. Um, we've been together for half a year. It's almost maybe two years. December. Okay, so you guys are still together? Yeah. Why? Oh, oh. It's complicated. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like it's complicated. It looks like you got it all figured out. Mm, it's complicated. Yeah? Yeah. Is he messing around? Or he's got you in a trick bag? I can't say messing around because he believes in having multiple lives. I'm just not part of that. What is he, Mormon? He believes in... Are you Muslim? The most high. She said... Her boyfriend believes in having multiple wives. Sounds like, sounds like some type of polygamy that's going on there. But if it's complicated to you, young lady, why even be with him if that's what he believes in? I don't understand women like that. Men out here can believe in having multiple women, multiple wives, and you will still choose to be with that man. Whose fault is that? Can you get mad later on because of the woman that he's choosing to be with on a day-to-day -day basis if that's what he believes in and you stay with him? Ask yourself that question. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. But he believes in like what? Yahweh, B'Shem, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai. Oh, so he's uh, Jewish? Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelite. Oh. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> But hey, he must be doing something right, right? No, I ended things like what a couple days ago. A couple days ago. But, mm. So what what does he do for work? Okay, at first he was selling. Uh, now I think he's working at Wingstop. If he still works there, I don't know. You was there. Who are you living with then? I'm back in my mom's house right now. I'm I was trying to get my life back in order. So, I was back at her house. You're trying to pe press fast forward on that to get a life back together? Yeah. Is that exactly what happened? Exactly what happened. Women, why do y'all always accept that in life sometimes? I'm just being real with you. I want to talk to the ladies out there. Y'all always want to mess with the hustler, the man that's getting money fast. Your life ends up getting thrown off track. Then you have to do things like steal money uh turn tricks or do whatever you can to obtain money to get your life back together why not just work hard find an honest man that's actually doing something because one thing men all all of us men know that for some reason you women love to live this fast-paced lifestyle with these guys that are getting money fast can give you whatever you want and then when those men end up running off to be with another woman or giving another woman the lifestyle that you want, that's when y'all want to buckle down and settle down with a man that's working. I don't understand that. There, there, There's so many good men that you women pass up on on a day-to-day -day basis that have their stuff together, making good money, but you just don't want a nine-to-five type of guy. Y'all see this guy with his jewelry on, his nice car, being flashy, you know he sells drugs, living a dangerous lifestyle, playing a dangerous game, and y'all choose to be with that man. For what? Which in turn tends to me to tell my guys out there, women are always in it for the money. It's always about what you got. This is why I hope the guys out there that watch my channel are learning something. It's always about money, guys. 
It's always about what you have that's of monetary value to those women, okay? It's like, let me press a fast forward button and make this happen. It's tough. So. You do know you work for a really big corporation, right? Is there a reason why you're like, oh, they're so big, they won't know? That kind of a thought process? I don't know. Honestly. I can't, I can't barely hear you. I said, I don't know, honestly. I was really just trying to get my life back in order. Yeah? <laughs> just trying to yeah. make it quicker than it was supposed to. So, there's one good thing that could come out of this. And it looks like you you want this to be the first and last time this ever happens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? So, I don't tell this to a lot of people because a lot of people that I sit across, they, they're legit like, like He's lying to you, Miss Lady. I'm just throwing this out there. Cops will tell you anything. Do not believe them. Cops are not your friends. Your boy MABW can give you a few teaching lessons here too, but cops are not your friend. Did he even read her her Miranda rights? I don't know for sure before he came in there or not, but if they didn't, you could have a lawsuit against them. They're supposed to read you your Miranda rights so you know that you can have an attorney present with you. Don't just talk to the cops for no, just don't talk to the cops. I'm pretty much done with this video. I don't want to go any further with it. As you can see, this young lady tried to upend her life in a fast way, get her life back on track. But as a teaching lesson, of course, because your boy MABW can, um, you know, be subtle and give teaching lessons sometimes. Don't try to take the easy route to get your life back on track, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure if she doesn't have any other type of charges or um, she doesn't have a jacket, which, which is pretty much a record, she'll get a slap on her wrist. She'll end up probably doing probation and having having to pay restitution but my thing is if you want to just um get back on track just just do what you got to do work get a second job and get your life back on track like that okay we've all been through stuff in our lives where we've tried to do that i've done that before in my life and um you know i found out that taking the easy route out is never the best thing to do I'm glad that it I'm, I'm glad that I got my life on track and was able to make things happen for me and my kids. And I, I'm, I, I'm just appreciative. I'm not if anybody that rocks with me, you know, I'm not on YouTube trying to show out. I'm not trying to be something that I'm not. Y'all see me same background. I, I wear a black and gray MABW hoodie. I'm just a normal person like y'all. That did get myself together, got myself back on track in life. And I'm not saying anything I've done before was real detrimental, but I could tell I was going off on a deep end when I seen fast money coming in before from what I used to do back in the days. That money gets you warped and it gets you to wanting to do that nonstop. And you think you're never going to get caught doing what you're doing until the police are knocking at your door. So just take time to get yourself together the right way. I hope everybody out there has a prosperous 2024 and I wish many blessings to all of y'all. I want to let everybody know this is your year. I'm always going to say that to you. My men, stay strong. Keep building yourself up. Anything that you want to do, just believe you can do it. There's so many things that I'm doing right now that I never thought in a million years that I would be able to do. But I'm living proof that you can do this, guys. And women, you can get yourself together and be on track to living a prosperous life and doing it the right, legit, and legal way, okay? Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holla back at y'all later. Peace.